Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been a bit inactive. I would not even a bit. I've been inactive for some time. Um, I was going to school. The good news is now I am officially a veterinary assistant. Um, I am enrolled in another program. So in September, I'm going to be starting that program. Um, Muffin is just eating Harrison pellets. So there is that. Um, what else? As for the channel, I don't know what kind of videos you guys want. Um, I think the kind of videos I plan on doing now is more like studio style. Now that I have like my shop open, I just want to take you guys with me to show you guys what the process is like. Um, and how I do my Etsy stuff. Again, if you guys don't know, I opened an Etsy shop and I'm selling toys, bird toys and anything bird stationary related um some of the toys are safe for rabbits um <laughs> people just picked out muffin some of the toys are safe for rabbits pretty much hamsters or like any small animals but you would have to read the description um anything that's safe for smaller animals i have it on the description but if any of you guys have questions regarding it you guys could always message me but yeah, I kind of wanted to do like some studio related videos um, or anything bird related obviously. If you guys have any ideas on what kind of videos you want to see, I mean you could comment it down below. There are some YouTubers that did really good videos like taming videos and honestly, I don't really want to do any taming related videos. Yes, they get a lot of views. But at the end of the day, there are some YouTubers that do a really good job explaining how to tame your birds. For instance, L, Denny the Budgie. I mean, they have really good videos. So, it just makes more sense if I put their videos in the description down below and you guys could watch them. I mean, I'm, be I'm just being honest. Yes, they make a lot of views. But then, there's so many good content out there. It makes no sense for me to recreate it. Because I'm just going to be summarizing what they're saying. It's pretty much the same info. I mean, if you guys really want it, fair enough. But, like, I don't see really the point. There is actually um, a robin. I think my birds are chirping to it. It just flew. Sorry about that. Um, getting sidetracked. So, yeah, I opened an Etsy shop. It's going well. I made some sales. Oh, there's the birdie. Let me see if I can get it on focus. Probably it flew away. Can you guys see it? Anyway, I lost the robin, but... um. What was I saying? Yeah, basically I opened an Etsy shop and I sell toys and stuff and it'd be nice if you guys could check it out. I do international shipping. Again, I don't really have a lot of control on the shipping. Um, Etsy automatically calculates that for me, but I do merge the cost. So if you do get a very absurd number, I do merge it, even to the dollar. So um, if you do end up getting a weird number, uh, just send me a message, but for the most part at the um, The size on the shipping cost. I don't really have much control over that. I only have control over um, The items that I'm selling with that being said this little girl um, I don't know. Oh, let me show you guys her water bowl. It's gonna make more sense so this is what their water dish looks like it's muffins and basil cage um Basically, Basil went to the vet. There was some stuff that I was concerned about, and Dr. North suggested I use iodine supplements. It's just a liquid supplement that you put inside their water dish, and it is completely safe for muffins. So, there's really no harm in it. So, that's what I have been doing, and it actually has seemed to be working. She has been doing this weird clicking, breathing noises, and I don't know... I don't know why, um, we did have some reasons that we thought she might be doing it, but she did suggest iodine supplements, it might be something related with her, like, thyroid and esophagus and stuff like that, anyway, some medical stuff, I don't want to re-explain everything, but in short, she is on iodine supplements, again, it's completely safe for muffin as well. The other update on this cutie, she's eating her Harrison pellets. Um, this cutie has stopped laying eggs. I was using dummy eggs. So in total, she laid five eggs. And then with the help of the dummy, she didn't lay any more. She did sit on the dummy eggs for quite a while. I would say probably like a good 
three to four weeks actually she did sit on them for quite some time close to the third and fourth week she started losing interest um so yeah the dummy eggs did help a lot i still obviously have the dummy eggs i didn't throw them away just in case i don't want it to happen again but just in case if it does we have them prepared um dr noor did say when i was mentioning muffin and her leg egg laying issue she did say once a layer always a layer um it's just that we want to uh, not encourage it happening frequently so i mean it makes sense if they lay an egg once chances are it's very likely it's gonna happen again you just don't want it to become very frequent because in that case i have to take her into the vet and she has to get like these hormone hormone injections so we don't want to do that but yeah we're gonna try discouraging it as much as possible um again all the conditions in her cage they i would say they were all good i think the issue was me so muffin is really attached to me so i'm assuming that i probably was really friendly with her and she misunderstood that i'm just being honest so i honestly don't think um the lighting is issue because they they their light um it's not like the area they're staying oh god i can't really word this the area where they are staying at it's not completely very bright and i open the lights and then i close it at a specific time so they get roughly five hours of bright light and then it's very dim um so anywhere from five to six in summertime i don't really do that much to be honest i take them either outside where they could get fresh air i really do think that sometimes it's just better if they get like fresh air rather than staying inside a room all day but then the issue with that is i would say roughly they stay in their cage outside for three hours four hours and then i'll take them downstairs where their room is and then i'll have them roam for probably like another three to four hours so this is the summertime by the way so i don't really think the lighting was the issue they have enough light or or it's good you know um the toys i think are good um i heard some people actually say stainless steel could be an issue because it is um reflective so as you can see my finger is pretty much reflecting on it so some birds might see their reflection and misunderstand uh, misunderstand that as well but I don't know. I don't really see her really playing with her stainless steel bowl. Like, she sits in them. But then the reason is, I think it's because she has, like, vision issues. She really likes standing on there. This is why, like, at the bottom of her cage, like, I changed the cage, whatever thing. But she typically has poop all in one side. That's because, like, she doesn't really move much. So, there's that. It's not really much to do with her bowl. But I do think because her vision issues, like, she doesn't really like leaving her food bowl. Um, so, then, oh, look how cute she is. You're so adorable. Anyway, that's, that's it on her. I mean, she's doing well. She's completely fine. We're just going to be more careful on not encouraging her to lay anymore. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just cleaned that. Anyway, um, she's doing fine. For the cage for Blossom, Kiwi and Edward, I have this um, bowl, it's at the top because the regular bowls are at the bottom of the cage but this one is at the top and it just has, with this one I have like um, herbs, so as you can see I think that's a rose petal, so there's herbs and I still have Harrison pellets in there just in case they're still hungry, so for that one, for this cage pretty much there's again three food bowls and then one on the top. But then for this cage, um, because of um, Muffin's vision issues, I have all their bowls at the top. So obviously um, one food bowl there, another food bowl there, their water dish over there. And then that's like the extra one where they have actually been going at it quite quite a lot. Um, it's quite finished to be honest. This one again has Harrison pellets and like some herbs. I find that... Um, kiwi uh, not kiwi sorry um basil and muffin really like herbs um but then these guys they're not really too into it i don't really notice them eating it much but i still add it um i don't know what they're picking at but i still add it so yeah so as for kiwi i did have like one worry um i think it was like two days ago so i am keeping an eye on her i don't really want to say it because like people are gonna start freaking out but 
she's doing okay but I'm still gonna keep an eye on her and this is why I have a hard time filming my budgie because if you couldn't tell that's blossom <laughs> why you gotta eat the camera every single time every single time whenever I have the camera close to the cage this little girl she's just like me too me too Okay, and I can't even film her because if I have the camera close to her, so this is why you see the wires because she will just run up to the camera, right? She's so cute though, I can't even get mad at her, right? Why, I'm trying to film your friends. Oh, she pooped. <laughs> so I brought the birds back in. It kind of got a tad bit chilly, so I decided to bring them back in and Muffin was actually sleeping. So yeah, I'll probably show more videos on a different day, but so far this is what we're doing on a Sunday. Right Muffin? She's so tired. Anyway, let's see what we do on the next days. So today is Monday and my Uline shipment came. Oh my god. Okay, so I got 12 by 12 by 4 um, boxes. Uh, I'm going to put some in my room so it's... I just picked up like three of them and then the rest I'm gonna store and then I got this it's like a hundred percent recyclable um, craft paper you just put this inside the boxes it kind of is like would you call it like a liner it's so large by the way anyway but you pretty much put these in the boxes to kind of make it like somewhat more protected so I got one it wasn't even expensive but yeah you guys could check your line for the prices the other thing I got, which I'm so excited about, crinkle paper. So, Uline has, um, how much was it? 10 pound crinkle paper. Now, there are different colors, but I got light blue because that's kind of like the color um, that I'm going to go with when it comes to everything, pretty much. So, this is, this is what I got. There's so much. Oh, my God. So, anyway, so 10 pounds of crinkle paper in here. The box in reference is quite huge. So I'm really excited to use this um, and definitely crinkle paper is a lot cheaper if you get it wholesale. That's that's one thing I did learn. Now the other thing I got is corrugated craft rolls. I don't know how else you would say it and they're, oh god. Okay so they're three inches. They're pretty much rolls that you could make. Um, toys with i know a lot of people do bird toys i've actually seen a lot of people do like hamster rabbit guinea pig toys out of them as well um here's where the issue is this is huge and i got six of them now the thing is with uline sometimes you have to get the minimum quantity in order to add it to your cart and the minimum quantity for this was wait for it it was six rolls for the three inch one i think the smallest they have is already three inch and oh boy actually let me open it so you guys can see a close-up i didn't even open it let me open it for you guys okay so this is what it looks like it's a very large um it's very large <laughs> um so this is pretty much how three inch looks like um i don't know why i have to do a hand measurement but i have six of them so one two three four five I am gonna put obviously one of them in my room just so I can make the toys comfortably in my room but obviously these are gonna go probably downstairs in my storage place um, I'm gonna have to store it somehow because I can't have <laughs> it may I can't it's just gonna take too much space in my room so yeah this is what it looks like I'm happy with it it's just that I did not think I would get this many so yeah uh, you guys are going to see a lot of corrugated toys, I guess. My orders from Vistaprint came. I ordered these sticky notes. I think they turned out great. They just have this at the back. Um, that are post-it notes, but they're sticky and you could use them. I really like how this one turned out with, like, the bird and, you know, like, the pink. I thought it matched really well. Um, and then this is the other one that I got. I really liked how this turned out. Um, I think it's really cute, honestly. So yeah, it's like a bluey, purpley color. I don't know how else I could describe it. I I genuinely think they both turned out really cute and really pretty. I ordered like 10 of this and then 30 of this. I don't know how well they're going to sell, but um, they're at the shop probably by the time you guys are watching this video. So if you guys are interested, 
I'll have a link to my shop, but yeah, I think they look pretty cute, don't you think? Let me know what you guys think about the sticky notes. This is how I'm storing my um, toys, which it works, but I have to find a better method. I do have one more extra gray box that I'm going to put over here, and I have to figure out what to do with those boxes. They're pretty much boxes that I use. I have like four. At the moment, I have four. So you guys saw the video from yesterday. Um, the, the 12 by 12 by 4 is the new box. But then I have 8 by 8 by 4. And then 6 by 6 by 6, which is pretty much a cube. And then I have this small, like it's like this box. It's really small. Um, that's really not for international uh, people that order it's more so for people in Canada that order but it's like a small foot toy like if they order one or two things I could probably depends on the toy like I can't fit this kind of toy inside um, these boxes if I have to do it um, I don't know if I have any but they're small they're like four by four by two so those are small but yeah, I have many kind. That's my Roomba, by the way, making a lot of noise. But remember the corrugated papers I got? So I have been making some toys. And I put most of them downstairs. Because there's just no way. I can't. There's just no way. I have nowhere to put them. But I'm not even halfway done. And I made like 11 or 12 of these. And then these larger. This is a larger toy. Um, it's pretty much stacked. Um rolls like this and then some palm flowers with balsa wood and then it has like uh, a bead and stuff this one's probably like 12 14 inches i didn't measure it yet but it's pretty large and then there's like a ton of toys underneath it um so yeah i'm gonna put one of the gray boxes over here like those bins and probably because as you can see it's overflowing so i have to figure that out but yeah it's it's been working for now I got crinkle paper yesterday if you've been obviously watching the video up until now and I put it like in this um, bag um, and this is gonna last me probably like a couple of boxes the thing is I got like even half this amount from Amazon and it was like 16 17 dollars I have like a pink one it's almost finished but I swear to god yeah just find wholesalers because I'm not, like, I just lightly got some from the total crinkle paper, like, just from the top, I just got lightly some bits, and, like, look, like, I'm just, there's just so many, that whole box is gonna probably last me more than a year, I'm not even joking, there's, like, so many, depending on how well I do with sales, but it should last me for quite some time. So, we have all three boxes now all lined up, so, as you can see, I have the toys in there, I do have to do product photography even with the sticky notes so yeah i'm just gonna do that today and hopefully edit all the photos in lightroom but this is so far what my setup looks like a while ago i showed you guys my desk tour i was showing a video on what i use for youtube and stuff but pretty much this is my setup it changed quite a bit so i hope it's in focus if it's not i'm sorry but this is the beads like there's just so many i'm not gonna go through all of that and then the bottom ones they have like the wooden beads so there's that for that section and then if we go over here um here's really just in a way it's a mess but then i know where everything is if that makes any sense um i do have some beads the reason is because i have a lot of quantity of those colors so the white the gray greenish and purplish i have a lot of those colors so I had to put them in here because the quantity was large. And then I have my stickers here. I'm going to get um, some more stickers from Sticker App. Um, so yeah, there's that. But so far, this is how I'm storing some of them. And then these are my bookmarks. I do have here. It's just like fragile. You put it on like the box. So please focus. Okay. So there's, uh, there's different types of bookmarks over here. I don't know. You could check the shop but there's some there and then these are my business card um i am gonna get postcards but initially this is how i used to do it and i still use these obviously but i kind of overestimated how much i should order so i ordered like 500 i'm not even joking and then i i think i showed you guys already the sticky notes but this is how i'm storing the sticky notes 
Um, as you could tell, I have a lot more of the blue ones. And then, I think only 10 of the pink ones. And then here, what do I have here? Oh, just random stickers. So, some of these I put it on the box. And then some of these, um, yeah, I just give it as freebies. So, yeah, there's that. I mean, that's kind of how my setup looks like so far this is what i have it's pretty windy but um i'm gonna take pictures and then again i told you guys that i edit everything in lightroom so there's that i'm gonna probably kind of switch around how the flower looks and i'm gonna probably take a lot of photos and then see whichever is the best one i'll pick that hey guys um today is friday and most likely tomorrow i'm gonna have this video updated so to anyone who's celebrating eid Happy Eid, Happy Eid Mubarak. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys what I got. And if you couldn't tell, I got my stickers from Sticker App. But I also got my um, postcards from Vista Print. So this is kind of how it looks like. And let me just, I'm doing this with one hand. And then this is how this side looks like. And I honestly am very happy with how it looked um and then i got my stickers i ordered five stickers the quantity for each sticker is slightly different but most of them are around the 50 to 60 quantity mark um so i'm really excited about that and i also want to show you guys each sticker so let me open each sticker and then i'll show you guys a close-up this is the first sticker i ordered i'm going to show you guys a close-up like i said i ordered 50 to 60 of each sticker but sticker app they tend to send a lot of extra so i am actually going to uh, count every single one just so when i'm posting it on my etsy i have the correct quantity but here's a close-up let me focus and honestly i think it turned out really cute um i drew this and look how cute it looks oh my god i really like it um and then let me show you guys the other one so this is how the other one looks like and this is kind of a close-up of it i really like how this one turned out the one thing i will say is that i wish the border the white border was a bit more smaller but it still looks very good um i think it turned out really cute i really like this one as well so this is the other sticker i got and here's a close-up of it i really like how this one turned out it looks so cute um i actually really like the border so it's nice and um, it's not too large uh, I prefer I prefer this one. Um, the other one's really nice, but the border is a bit larger. Um, so I'll be mindful next time when I'm ordering it. Probably make the border smaller. But this one looks really nice as well. Look at it, it's so cute. I really like this one. This is another one I ordered. It turned out really, really cute. Look at it. Um, I know someone's gonna be like, um, is that coffee? Yes, it is. It's a cockatiel drinking coffee. This is an illustration. I'm completely aware that caffeine is toxic to birds. And in case you didn't know, caffeine is toxic to birds. It's just an illustration. I know someone's going to co uh, comment on it saying, Hey, um, did you know coffee is, or caffeine is toxic to birds? Yes, I'm aware. It's just an illustration, guys. So this sticker turned out really cute. So the back is empty. I know some people put like their own stamps and stuff, which is also a cute touch. But yeah, for mine, it's empty. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. I really like it. Look at it. It's so cute. So this is the last sticker that I ordered. I also really liked how this one turned out. It's so cute. It's just, again, a cocktail. In this case, I was trying to go for like muffin, um, holding flowers. And I think it looks so cute. And this is how it looks like close up. Um, they turned out really well. I'm actually really happy with all the stickers that I got. I am, again, like I said, going to count all of them. Because, like I said, sticker app, they tend to send a bit more. They tend to send quite a bit of extras. I remember with one of my stickers, I ordered 50. But then they sent me like 80. And this is something most of the time that sticker app does. Um, they tend to send a lot more quantity. Um... So yeah, I'm really happy with everything. So before I end the vlog, um, I really hope, first of all, you guys actually liked it. It is a bit different from the content that I typically do. And just let me know if you guys don't like it. It's completely fine, but I just wanted to do something like this. I don't really see people that are bird channels that really show their Etsy shop and stuff or their own personal shop. So I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Most likely when you guys are watching this video, it's going to be uploaded tomorrow. But most likely, 
these stickers will not be on the shop so if you do want the stickers just probably you don't have to buy by the way <laughs> absolutely no pressure but if you do want any of these stickers probably wait two weeks or so just to be safe um, <laughs> because I can't really guarantee it I am getting some supplies just for accessories for the photography purposes so just probably wait on it a little bit um there's not really going to be new toys that i'm going to have on the shop but again don't quote me on that so if you do like the toys and you don't want the stickers the toys probably right now i'm not making any new ones at the moment so that if that's something you're interested in i guess you could order now but for the stickers you're gonna probably have to wait a little bit um again no pressure i know some people are younger in age and they can't really afford it that's completely fine um you really don't have to order it it's just something i enjoy doing so there is that i do ship internationally i do hope you guys like this studio sort of vlog if you guys don't like it i probably will not be doing many videos like this but if you guys do enjoy it let me know um yeah so this is the end of the video i really hope you guys did enjoy it um yeah see you guys next time bye bye guys